Hello everyone again, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. After a long hiatus after the Hurricane Irma events, got my antenna back up, got some things situated, and started looking around on HF again. And you might have seen something like this before in a previous video. This might look a little familiar. FT8. This is the WSJTX software running the FT8 mode. And man, let me tell you what, if, if, if you've done digital and you like digital and you can't find a phone contact, boy, there are contacts on digital on every band. Well, when I say every band, I'm thinking 80 through 10 meters uh, just because 6 isn't open today and 160 meters I don't have an antenna for. Other than that, I can find FT8 right now on 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meters. You have eight bands that you can find FT8 or JT65 or JT9. Uh, PSK is sitting around 40 and 20 meters, but uh, I even worked at Olivia Station today and a couple RTTY stations. So working South Africa on a digital mode today, uh, makes me believe that there is propagation there. It just so happens that everybody is using the digital mode. And I'm surprised that there's this many stations on digital. Now, you can go back and look at the video on FT8 that I did and see what this FT8 is all about. But, you know, it's another mode of communication. Uh, first of all, the bands aren't dead. Now, I'll, I'll preach that until I'm no longer licensed and in the ground. Uh, yes, there are ups and downs in the band conditions, but I I can make a contact right now or hear stations on every single band that I can that I'm licensed for minus 160 because I don't have an antenna. So there is propagation out there. There is signals. There are people. Whether you're using a software like this to pretty much do the work for you, or you're out there calling CQ or hitting a paddle. There are stations and there are contacts to be had. Look look here on the radio. To show you, it's amazing. You can bounce through every band and listen to all the digital activity on every single band. Starting with 10. 12. Just made a contact with uh, South Africa on 12 meters. South Africa and uh, uh, Canada, some other state side. There's 12 meters. 15 meters, 17 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, 40 meters. last night I was on 80 making some uh, FT8 contacts here at 3.573 but there's activity out there on digital. It's no wonder 20 meters here. This is 20 now, and it's no wonder it's littered with digital stations. Uh, 20 is usually the hotbed for digital. Anywhere from 14.070 to 14.090, you get uh, PSK, FT8, JT9, JT65, Olivia, RTTY, and more. But a lot of strong signals here. And, and remember, guys, this isn't 500 watts and 1,000 watts with 8-element beams. This is 5 watts, 10 watts, maybe 15 watts on all these contacts. I use like 10 watts, so I try to use 10, 5, 10, 15, depending on, on uh, what the conditions are like. But I start with the minimum amount of power, and normally I have no problem at 5 watts. And you really don't even have to have a strong signal like this for it to decode. Now, on my S meter on the radio, I'll see signals that are, you know, all peaking up at the S7, S9. But on other ones, like on 10 meters, there's no signal, but I can hear them, but I can't see them on the, the signal meter. So it's okay because it'll still decode in the, in the waterfall. So people that are struggling to find anything to do on the ham radio, you can find it. Digitally, either FT8, JC65, PSK, RTTY, 
and more. So six hours later, I go through the bands again, and they're still hopping, all of them, with digital modes. There's 10 meters, 12 meters. I made a bunch of contacts on 12 meter FT8 today. Fifteen meters. Seventeen meters. Twenty meters. Thirty meters. Forty meters. And another useful thing for these digital modes like JT65 and FT8, you know, look at the call signs coming in. Look at the countries. You have Japan. Uh, here's a Japan JA7. Uh, you have a Costa Rica. You have uh, up here in the list a couple South American stations. Another J uh, Japan station. So you have, uh, there's a New Zealand up here somewhere too. Uh, like Canada. It was in New Zealand. Anyways, the point is, you may not be able to get, if you're chasing grid squares or countries, uh, and you, you, you're waiting for that contact on phone with Japan, you may not get it as fast as you would with uh, FT8 or JT65 like this. There's a lot of DX on here uh, that you will only get with digital mode. Some of these operators, they don't even operate phone or CW. They operate digital, and that's it. And that may be because of their conditions. Here's a New Zealand right here. Uh, that may be because of their conditions with their antenna restrictions or apartment dwellings because this digital mode will, will work inside an apartment with a modest antenna. Um, and this, I'm back on 17 meters now. And uh, 17 meters is, is rolling in just as good as 20 was. So it, it has a purpose. So just an update that uh, it has taken over. There is a lot of activity here, a lot of stations, and uh, it can be fun. I encourage you to try it at least. It can it can be fun. It can uh, kill some time. It can be great portable with a one watt transmitter or a transmitter set at one watt on battery power in a remote location with a portable antenna and a little laptop, and you can make uh, exchanges in the uh, poorest possible conditions with digital modes like these. 7-3, more videos on the way, just haven't had the time. From KJ4YZI.